All right, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy Guapson back here with another episode of this Franklin's Millionaire Empire. God damn it! I feel like I haven't said that in about like over 390 something days. It really has been that long since I recorded something. Maybe it might be. I might be getting my days up. I think I did a live stream. I can't remember, and I'm too lazy to check. But anyways, we back on this GTA 5 modded single player Franklin's Millionaire Empire. And it's been a while since you've seen Franklin. Y'all have seen Franklin because he got dreadlocks and braids now. He's like, yeah, nigga, I done braided my own hair since you weren't playing with me that much. I decided to take my own little style. Yeah, you right. You right. But we over here back at House 552 down by Vespucci. And it's been a while since y'all actually seen Los Santos. And I'm telling you right now, a lot of stuff has changed. Uh, and I mean a lot of stuff has changed. So big corporations are moving in, real brands are coming in, real more cars are coming in. So like it's gonna look extremely different from what I'm about to show you. But since we getting back into the series, man, and Franklin's getting back to like doing millionaire empire things, we actually got a couple jobs to do from Simeon because I actually got a text from Simeon saying that uh, there's actually been a delivery at the docks for four, and I repeat four, 2023 Nissan Z's. That's the all new Nissan Z's. I call it the 400 Z. So we actually got to go down to the dealership and we actually got to drop some cars off down to the docks too. And then we're pretty much going to go back and forth. But with that being said, let's get up. And also, uh, let me take a quick uh, tour of this house real quick because I forgot what it looked like. Because honestly, we might actually just move out of this and move all our stuff out and then turn this into an Airbnb. But you got some jewelry right here. I got the Jesus piece on Franklin. We went to the jeweler. I guess he went to the jeweler while I was gone and he got himself some jewelry. But this is what we looking like right here. We got gold watches, we got silver watches. We got some of everything. And of course, um, it's all in the stash room or like the wardrobe or whatnot. Uh, we go into the master bathroom. Man, and we got the see-through shower and everything. Damn, that's actually pretty nice. This is one of like the main bedrooms or whatnot. So matter of fact, I don't. I, this house so big, I forgot what it looked like. All right, so we got another bed, uh, bathroom. I'm guessing this is the guest bathroom. Honestly, I don't know why anyone would think to put a bathtub right here in front of an open window on a public street like this. But anyways, uh, we bought it, so get, that's what we're gonna have to deal with. And of course, here is Franklin's main room. Here's his gaming setup. Damn, he got a better setup than I do. He got the DLSR camera, uh, and then with the triple monitors. I got two monitors that's uh, sitting right next to each other just like this, but I'm in the corner. Got a PC, look like a regular Dell Inspiron computer, and got I, what it looks like a PlayStation. I don't know. It's some GTA bootleg shit. But he got the microphone. Damn, he set up. This is how I want my setup to look like in like later this year. So I gotta make a video on my setup, but it's one of the main bedrooms. You go out here, you get a view of the beach. We ride off the beach too, so we can just come out the house and walk down to the pier if we wanted to. But uh, we also got these doors that lead to the other guest bedrooms. And of course the, uh, the last uh, bathroom as well. So we're gonna go downstairs and we're gonna go to the main living area which is here's the kitchen and of course here's the living room and i like this house for this is one of the main reasons why i also like this house you got a secluded uh swim area with a jacuzzi tub and everything that's my favorite part right there the indoor basketball court now i think there's a mod where i can play basketball i can i think i can get it set it up in here but i'm gonna have to see well, we got the Lamborghini uh, Centenario on the wall. I think that's a Centenario. So, yeah. And, of course, we got the Lamborghini SVJ Roadster on the wall as well. One of these days, we're going to get both of these cars. Or at least deliver them. So, it's a little bit too much too fast, but you guys get the idea. All right, here's the kitchen. The outdoor patio that's on the second level. And... That's pretty much about it for the house. I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta go downstairs. I haven't showed y'all what downstairs look like. Most of y'all know what the garage look like. That's one, the garage was one of the main reasons why I bought the house. But we got the secluded gate. We go in here. This is where the Range Rover, 
I decided to drive the Range Rover because I haven't drove the Range Rover in like a few episodes. So the Range Rover is what we're going to be driving in for today's episode until uh, I decide to like mix it up a little bit. But we got the secret workshop right here. We got uh, where we store our rims and whatnot. And we got some more space over here for more cars. And I'm pretty sure on this level, we can get into like the basketball court. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting, it's past this secret uh, workshop right here. That's how we get to it. Then we just go through this door. There's the vault. That's our um, surfboard and swim stuff apparel. And then we get to the workout room and then we get to the, the gym. Or not the gym, but the basketball court. And I forgot, dude, this place has a built-in movie theater. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to convert this into an Airbnb. This is way too nice, dude. We can literally pull up with like Lamar, Michael, Trevor. We can bring them over. We can watch movies all day and night. So that's pretty much about it for the house tour. That's pretty much like what I just wanted to show you guys uh, to like give a reminder to what we got going. But now we can actually go and start getting this job done because Simeon is waiting for us. Actually, I don't even think Simeon is even at the shop right now i think he's on a business trip or whatnot or out of town so it's in our hands but we're gonna have to see when we get there so but as you all know in previous episodes ago we got this range rover svr that was given to us by simeon for all of our hard work that we did let's start it up oh yeah i miss this i love my range rovers dude the only reason why i don't really like range rovers like that is because range rovers as soon as you get them, they depreciate, and then as soon as you drive it off the lot, every single check engine light come on. But then the one thing I forgot about uh, when I was setting up my game, and also y'all can take a look at downtown. Y'all can see what's going on downtown. So this is what I'm excited to show y'all, but the one thing I forgot to do with my game was put in cops on patrol. Now don't get me wrong, they can still chase after us if we run lights or do the speed limit and if they see us, and they just so happen to be in a certain area. But uh, for the most part, we're not going to have cops on every single street. I got to figure out how I can decrease the spawn rate of these cops when I have the cops on patrol mod. Or like change up the like certain files in the game. Because when I have that mod installed, like every single street that they're on, it's ridiculous. But uh, also, as you guys know, I got in an updated version of LA Revo in my game. And my god, it is looking beautiful, dude. Now, there is a little bit of texture problems going on downtown, but I forgot to install, like, I think the December update for 2021. But other than that, my game is pretty much perfect. We got uh, MLOs everywhere. We got real interiors everywhere. Matter of fact, we're going to park in the back, and we're actually going to see uh, what we got going on. So, matter of fact, we're going to put, matter of fact, we're going to put uh, the Range Rover in the back right here. It's gonna leave us here, and then we're gonna go around the back. Someone got their Mustang here. I think uh, some dude is actually bringing their Mustang. I don't know what the deal is about this Mustang, it's just here. So, my best guess is that this Mustang is getting a body kit put on it. Or, if not, it's being repaired. But, from the look of things. But, anyways, here's the cars that we're actually gonna be bringing down to the docks. And, y'all see the lineup and what we got going on right here, man. Y'all see what we got going on right here. Come on, dude. Stop playing with me. Don't underestimate the Fox. Do not sleep on Guapi Troy. Guapi Troy knows about his cars. But let me start from left to right. I'm getting ahead of myself. But we got the Audi, the 2021 Audi RS7. I almost screwed the name up. And I'm excited for this because all these cars got something special on them. And I'm going to show it to you guys. Um, but we got the 2021 Audi RS7. We're going to have to get one of these. I always liked these. So next up, we got, of course, the 2022 Shelby GT500 Mustang. This thing puts out 760 horsepower, dude. And I'm not... Hold up. Someone getting chased. Hold on. I want to see that. They out there wilding out as per usual. But anyways... We got this from the, uh, from my understanding, according to the paperwork, Simeon got this from the dealership that's just across the street at the Ford dealership. They um, sold it to us, and then we're bringing it down to the docks to get it registered. But man, this is nice, dude. This is nice. I always like that 
when they introduced the gt500 with the redesign on it i always loved that aerodynamic uh track wing that they put on it that track day spoiler with the carbon fiber wheels and everything with the red guts and the black stripes dude dude this thing is clean and now we have the creme de la creme of luxury cars the bmw m5 f90 competition edition that's a lot to say at once and it's pretty self-explanatory why we have to get this down to the docks because it has no plates on it but i'm liking this because it's ultra blue and it got the red guts in there too man and also just uh for anybody wondering yes the mirrors do fold in and out and i'm going to show you guys that in a second but of course just like the bmw the mirrors also fold in on this bad bubby right here and this is the 2022 cadillac ct5 v blackwing now as soon as i seen cadillac and gm reveal this i knew i had to um get this in my game man and now i'm not using nukes model i'm using a free model that's on five mods all of these models that you guys are seeing right here is available on five mods except for this gt500 mustang right here this one is made by foxtrot delta which i think this is available on like libertycitymods.net or something but anyways i don't know which one to choose we're gonna get in some trouble with these cars but i guess it don't really matter because we're gonna have to drop them off and then pick them back up anyways so i'm gonna see if we can actually get a hold of one of these but we're actually gonna start with the audi rs7 and we're gonna get this transported down to the docks so we can get it um registered and everything and we're on the clock too so we're gonna have to hurry this up but let's actually drive this out man also one more thing that i forgot to mention i am playing on my rtx 4070 ti man and my god i'm playing in 4k and i'm getting 40 to 50 almost 60 fps the only reason that i'm getting like 40 30 fps out here is because la revo is intensive and it takes up like a lot of cpu usage but other than that my game is perfect dude oh hold up bro i almost took those people out but anyways also this also is something that i wanted to show you guys for the rs7 y'all see that i can raise and lower the sunroof that is sick dude dude that is sick man we gonna have to definitely get one of these and then we gonna have to throw a body kit or something on this but with that being said we're actually just gonna go over here and oh also i forgot my Foot Locker mod is still in the game i was worried that la revo was gonna replace Foot Locker, so we still taking ownership of Foot Locker and whatnot we might end up selling it we making some good money with it but i think what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna sell it or if not we're gonna keep it for a little bit longer and then we're probably gonna put something else right there and i don't know what is going on with the lights uh, right here like gt5 went through a bunch of updates and there's not many game configs that can really um keep up with the updates because some people refuse to update them also one thing i forgot what time is it okay it's 7 27 so i'm thinking i'm probably i probably want to put on a real-time duration yeah i think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna put on real-time duration so that way uh the game uh will still be like daytime and then we won't have to worry about it getting uh what you call nighttime so fast so i think at around like noon what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on real-time duration but let's actually let's actually get some first person action oh my god i forgot about this oh yeah we first personing this from all the way uh all the way to the docks man this is clean dude this is sick dude it got the overhead oh oh no come on bro i gotta go get the car fixed dude matter of fact do it look that bad man we actually gonna have to get the car fixed dude dude i fucked that up dude so I was so busy focusing on the lights and like the emissive lights and the dash lights on the interior I completely back into that Mustang bro man I hate that I did that now I gotta go all the way back and I gotta go and get repairs so matter of fact where's my dealer oh yeah I keep forgetting I got a dealer over there by the Los Santos customs we actually gonna have to pull up on all of my dealers and we're gonna have to uh, collect off of them because it has been a while since we you know collected from our dealers they probably pocketing all the money they sell 
either that or Franklin is actually getting on the ass and collecting like he should be. Because if I remember correctly, yeah, he does have one point, almost 1.1 million on him. So we just gonna have to collect off of them when we get a chance. I'm hoping I can get this done fast so we can actually go and trap out a little bit and go and collect money from our dealers. So let's actually take that off screen. And we're actually gonna first person this all the way over there. We're actually gonna do the dash since there's no cops around. We're gonna do the dash a little bit. Ooh, oh, hold on, oh, hold on, bro. That was too close. That was too close, man. That truck hauling that uh, trailer almost took that um, semi out, bro. All right, bro. Y'all gonna have to scoop through here and let me buy, bro. Y'all gonna have to let me buy, dude. I'm already late with this job and whatnot. We gotta get these cars to the dealership by the end of the day. And I am getting some. E I think I'm also having a little bit of a problem with the EMB as well. Because I think if I got the graphic settings too high, it tends to do that. But I am playing on Natural Vision Evolve mixed with um, Quant V 2.13. No, 2.14. And I got Quant V3 in, which is the EMB from Quant V3. So, I don't know. It's running fine for me. And it, I am looking at the playback right now. It looks beautiful dude i can't wait to edit this video up for y'all all right but anyways let's actually put the roof up get some air in there and let's try not to crash dude we're actually gonna try and not to crash if we go crash and if it, if it you know, here's a new rule that i'm thinking about putting in if i crash and it's not my fault i get to prefix it i get to prefix the car because that last time that was my fault completely my fault but dude, this dash is amazing, bro. Dude, I am so uh, impressed with the amount of details that is in this car, dude. And also, one more thing that I forgot to mention, I think I can also change the interior lights on this. Okay, so it's in the wheel colors, okay. So, I can change the color in this. So matter of fact, we're just gonna go into first person again and then we're gonna change it from menu. And I'm gonna show you guys uh, the, the lights in here, dude. And we can change it to default, with uh, which is like a white. Change it to off. Put a purple on here. This is sick, bro. The only thing that we actually need for this is like a RGB mode for like stuff like this, dude. And we can program it to be RGB. That would be insane. So matter of fact, I'm thinking that we're actually gonna put it to a red so we can match the interior. But matter of fact, I'm we gonna have to scoop through here, bro. Um, we taking up way too much time. I to do the dash on the RS7. I'm pretty sure the upgraded like tier model to this, I'm pretty sure it can go faster than this, dude. Alright, so we making it down to the docks. We're actually gonna have to hurry this up, dude, because I'm already like 15, 20 minutes into the recording and I gotta edit this stuff. And I'm over here Sunday driving like it's a Sunday drive damn situation. We got a lot of Mustangs out on the street today. I don't know what this is about these Mustangs, bro. Alright, but y'all gonna let me in or not, bro? I'm about to say, y'all better let me in. I got clearance. But anyways, we finally down to the docks. I cannot believe I screwed that up and I crashed the RS7. But other than that... Uh, we down to the docks. I don't know where they expect me to park these, so I'm just gonna park these outside. And we're actually just gonna stack it up, li line it up side by side. Oh, hold on one second. I actually got the... Oh, yeah. We definitely gonna have to cop this. We gonna have to cop this. It got the Audi um, emissive lights on the door. Alright, that's sick, dude. But anyways, here we are down to the docks, and we finally taking a look at the new 2023 Nissan Z's man the 400 Z's oh my god this is um these cars look so nice bro Jesus Christ this looks good dude and we got four of them I'm already letting you guys know right now I'm already claiming one of them as soon as Simeon said that we got four of these coming into the city I already put in my order for one of them so I'm thinking about either taking the white one or the yellow one. I'm thinking about taking the white to match the cars 
uh, while the GTR is in the shop uh, getting some work done. We're probably going to put like a stage 2 kit on there. And I'm hearing that Benny's reopened up shop in Los Santos. So it's not like he never left or anything. But we're actually going to get a body kit put on the GTR. But I don't know which one to take. It's like Skittles taste the rainbow. But I think we're going to start off with the blue one first. And then work our way to the one that we're going to most likely take home. Alright. Sounding nice. Also, shout out to uh, GTA uh, Car Mods .com for making this model, dude. Because nobody, okay, there is some people out on Five Mods that did make this car, but the issue is it's low uh, quality. Now, don't get me wrong, some of them is pretty good, but the issue is is that some of them is not very good. But this is probably like the best model I've seen. Now, the only downside to this. And of course, I think the dials is what I like the most about this, is that uh, you can't open up the trunk or the hood, which is a bummer. But, and pretty much now come to think of it, I don't think any games besides Forza really put the Nissan Z in the game. So it's going to take pretty much a while for the Nissan Z to get put in like GTA or something. But so far, this thing is pretty much doing the dash and doing what it needs to do, bro. Oh, hold on. I almost took that guy out, bro. But let me know what you guys think about the Nissan Zs, man. This is nice. This is nice, bro. And it's always this traffic right here, dude. It's always this traffic right here. Man, God, matter of fact, y'all gonna have to move and get out the way, bro. It's always motherfuckers in these minivans, bro. Actually, story time. Quick story time for you guys while I'm actually driving down to the shop, man. So story time, um, I was driving home from work one day, I think this was like a week or two ago, and, excuse me, excuse your boy, but I was driving home like a week or two ago from work, and I see this minivan, this like all black minivan, of course it's a white lady driving it, with like Timmy and Cody in the back, no racial, but anyways, um, she was swerving in and out of traffic, and she comes up behind me, almost rear ends me, and she goes around me and she nearly hits another car i don't know what her problem was but on, and then we come to a red light and i just looking at this lady and then she looks at me like you know that one rdc world meme uh where like they said about bad drivers and then uh, um i forgot old boy name but main dude from rdc world he pulls up to the driver and then he just stares at him bro that's exactly what i did that's exactly what I did, bro. Also, speaking of which, I don't know where I'm gonna park these cars. Matter of fact, we gonna actually have to park these cars in the back, now that I come to think of it. So, I'm thinking that we just gonna park these cars in the back. Or matter of fact, what we can do is we can put them on the dealership floor, now that I come to think of it. So that's what I'm actually going to do. We're gonna put them out on the dealership floor. We're gonna get rid of these. Because really, these have been sitting here for a while. So we're going to put these on the dealership floor. But like I was saying, that was a crazy... I'm looking at her like, bro, are you kidding me? Are you serious? But that was just a quick story time for you guys. Let me know if I should do some more story times during videos like this, man. But that's the first Nissan Z uh, delivered and safely to the dealership. I didn't crash it this time. So that's actually to the dealership. Safe and sound. Now, I think we're just going to go in order with these mugs, dude. And we in L.A. pretty much, too. Oh, yeah. We definitely going to get in trouble with this. So, we actually just going to hop in the GT500 Mustang. By the way, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I got pretty much engine sounds for all these cars. I spent a while perfecting my game. But, anyways, let's start this Mustang up, bro. Yes, sir. Now, I do have another Mustang mod sound in, but the thing is, is that it's delayed. Whenever you redline it and it revs, it's delayed. So, like, say I'm already in, like, the 9,000 RPM, 10,000 RPM. By the, by the time it's there, it's going to actually be, you know, still getting up there. And just, it's going to be, like, a one or two second delay before it redlines. But, um, we're actually going to... Appreciate it, bro. But we're going to make our way down to the docks again. We actually just going to hurry this up, man. Matter of fact, what time is it? How are we doing on time? Oh, yeah. We definitely going to have to turn on real-time duration now. 
So real time duration. All right, there we go. We good. We now we good to go for the rest of the episode. But we gonna cut up in this. We gonna get into some trouble with this. So we actually gonna do a speed race down to the docks in traffic with it. Oh yes, sir. That's how you whip a Mustang right there. For y'all Mustang owners, this is how you whip a Mustang. This is how you whip a Mustang. All right. Oh yeah, we cutting up. We gonna get in trouble with this. All right, and it got the working dash. Oh, this is sick, dude. This is sick. And I'm pretty sure the GT500 has a 10 speed in it. If I remember correctly, they do have a 10 speed and then they have a six speed sequential mode. So matter of fact, let's actually put this in sequential real quick and see what we can do in it. Alright, so far we cutting up in this Mustang. Luckily the cops is not around to see us do this. Ooh, hold on, almost took that guy out in that GTO or whatever that car was. Ooh, hold on bro, got squirrely. But thankfully traction control is on. Traction control is on, so I didn't forget about that. And one thing I forgot to do was I forgot to do the gear ratios for the Mustang. Because it kind of like evens out at like 130 at third gear. Alright. Here we go. We're going to get in some trouble with this. As soon as these cops are back from their donut break. And back from like going to Chick-fil-A or whatever they eat at. We're going to get in some trouble in these cars. Man that downshift is nasty. All right, Semi, you're gonna have to move out the way. Matter of fact, I'm going around him. Fuck him. All right. Anyways, we made it down to the docks. And he's going the other way. So we're actually gonna put this right here. And pretty much everybody that works down the docks, they know what to do with these cars. So they already know what to do. All right. The GT500 is delivered. Let me, also speaking of which, let me know what cars once those get registered and made available at the dealership, let me know what car should we actually bring home. We making some money. And speaking of which, we're probably going to make like, I don't know, like 20 G's off this uh, job for transporting these cars. Probably 20, probably 30. We're going to have to renegotiate, especially with how ga gas prices are. We ended up taking the second Nissan Z over to the uh, dealership. We're actually going to ride a sequential in this because I'm pretty sure... These come in a manual as well. This thing's got a little bit of juice on it. Now, I do have a GTA sound, like a GTA car sound for this. I'm pretty sure I got like the Sultan sound for this. But until someone makes a sound mod, it's pretty much going to be exactly like this. And pretty much I seen and heard what these things sound like up close and personal because someone out here owns one of these. And um it sounds pretty good for a twin turbo v6 for a twin turbo v6 it sounds pretty nasty but the one thing that i do hate and that backfire one thing i do hate about it is the exhaust sound the exhaust sound they could have put a better exhaust sound on the new nissan z man because it sounds too quiet for it being a twin turbo v6 you get some first person action in this rolling through the hood with it too but anyways i'm gonna catch you guys back down the dealership we actually just gonna jump cut to the dealership all right here we go guys we're finally making it back towards the dealership and i am going to say i am in love with the z man it's this all black one is probably what we might take home but i'm thinking about taking that yellow or white one but let me know anyways we finally made it over here i'm gonna back this thing up like a uh, juvenile and manny fresh Try not to scrape it on the way over here. All right, so we got the second Nissan Z delivered. We're just gonna park it right here. We're gonna worry about parking it later. These are all gonna be put out on the dealership anyways. These are all registered and ready to go. So pretty much we're gonna be uh, taking delivery of one of these Zs by the end of this episode from what it looked like. But now we actually on our way 
to hop in the M5. I'm pretty much excited to hop in the M5 and the CT5 uh, V Blackwing. I don't know which one to choose, but we're actually gonna take the Beamer first. So let's hop in the Beamer. I feel like every when you make it big, you gotta have at least one Beamer in your collection. At least that's just me. And for me, this is this is the one. Ooh, that sound mean as hell, bro. Alright, so let's actually get this transported down to the docks. Matter of fact, we're actually gonna quick save this just to be safe. I pretty much did an extensive test for like the past three hours, and it was pretty much like two hours in. You're excused, gotcha. But anyways, two hours in, or two or two and a half hours in, um, it wasn't giving me any problems. So I'm pretty much good to go uh, for this series. At least until like the next time they update the game. I just realized this thing ain't got no gas. How do they not have gas in here? Hold on, bro. I'm gonna have to go to the gas station, bro. But also, since LA Revo is in my game, they overhauled everything, dude. I'm telling you, when I mean it, they overhauled everything. They overhauled everything from the GTA gas station that's right here. They put in custom-made MLOs. And for the 2023 version of LA Revo, they overhauled everything and got dozens, if not hundreds, of interiors in the game. All working properly, too. All right, but we finally filled up the BMW. I'm in love with this BMW. Matter of fact, let's actually fold out the mirrors. We're actually gonna cut up the mess. We need to know what we're doing. Man, that's nice, dude. Let's actually do it one more time. Yes, sir. And then when we wanna fold them out, we fold them out. Anyways, just like the Audi RS7, I can change the lights on here. Matter of fact, let's see what we can do. Because if I remember correctly, I think it's in... Yeah, it's set secondary paint. So yeah, I can change it white. I can change it off. I can put it off. Change it silver. I can change it wine red, like an orange. Y'all, y'all get the gist of it. Y'all get the gist of it. I think we're gonna put it to like a yellow. We're gonna have this like one of our. Matter of fact, is that? Oh, it got the overhead dash on it too. Man, I don't know. I'm pretty much gonna cop all these cars. I'm gonna cop all these cars. Um, with how good they are, man. Oh, this is nice. All right, let's get this down to the docks, man. Like I said, we're getting in some trouble, dude. All right, so matter of fact, we going to... Ooh, hold on, bro. That truck didn't even use a turn signal or nothing. All right, matter of fact, we're going to get some first-person action from this. This is too nice, dude. Ooh, hold on, got squirrely for a second. Mm. Alright, matter of fact, let's throw this in sequential real quick. I want to see what this can do in sequential. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to put the gear ratio back on this as well. Y'all hear the downshifts on this? I hear like that coil wine on it, man. Man, this is one of my favorite BMWs. I don't care what anybody say about BMW. The only reason that I don't really like BMW is because number one, they're charging a subscription for you to have heated seats. And number two, um, if you, okay, now let's say if I wanted a BMW M5, right? It's gonna cost me like six figures, like over 150 Gs just for a 600 horsepower sedan. Which is kind of stupid if you ask me because the Hellcat Red Eye is putting out 807 horsepower the jailbreak version might I add and they want like 96,000 for it unless the dealership is marking up the prices but here we are down at the docks gonna get this delivered and dropped off we have to go hop back into the other um the other Nissan Z we got two more to deliver and then we can pretty much call it an episode or if not, we can probably trap in one of these and then we can get the paperwork. No, it's not stolen, officer. It's not stolen. That I can assure you, I got the paperwork. But we're pretty much gonna keep this and then we can pretty much take care of the paperwork when Simeon gets back or when we get to the shop. 
Somebody. Hold on. Don't tell me I don't scratch one of the Z's, man. I had to do a hell of a three-point turn just to get out of here. All right. Anyway, I'm loving my graphics, dude. I am loving my graphics. Ooh, the Nissan Z got a little swirly. All right. Anyways, I'm going to catch you guys down at the shop. We're actually going to do a little bit of a top speed run. I'm going to get some footage in for you guys. Damn, that Mustang took out that driver. That is nuts. Alrighty, guys. I had to make a quick pit stop at the gas station because I realized this thing barely got no gas. These, these cars that's getting shipped in from the docks don't ever be having no gas in here. The one thing I hate about is that whenever I'm driving somebody else's shit, I always gotta put gas in it. That's the one thing I hate. That's why I always drive my own shit. And that damn shift is nice for a GTA sound, but finally making it back down to the dealership just like old times. Anyways, there's a Range Rover in the back. We're gonna take this out of sequential and then we pretty much gonna have to do a hell of a three point turn again in reverse to get the car in here. I'm thinking about taking this white one home with me, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Pretty much going to, and the cars are back. He's like, y'all thought you can get rid of me? I sure as hell tried it. I sure as hell tried to. Matter of fact, we actually just gonna park them all side by side right next to each other right here we're gonna park this on the far left side where the blue one is right in front of the blue one so that way we can make room for the yellow one and then i'm thinking after this we can probably pull up on z and then see like if he's um got some drugs in but oh yeah i forgot i'm walking to my range rover like we done we still got one more but uh, we have to go see what Z is popping off. Like, he should have a new batch in. But we'll see. Hopefully nobody beat us to it. Because you know, junkies need junk. Rain, sleet, or snow. Just like how I need new cars. Like, just like this Blackwing right here. Like I said, these cars, except for the GT500 that we dropped off, is available on 5 mods. Along with the engine sounds to all of them. Now, hold on, bro. That was too mean. We got to do that again. We gotta do that again. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Y'all know what it is, dude. 650 horsepower Blackwing with the supercharged LT4 Chevy uh, Corvette engine in it. Oh, you ain't saying nothing but a word. You ain't saying nothing but a G thing, baby. Why betray that nigga going crazy? That was too clean, bro. Yeah, I'm acting up in this thing, bro. <laughs> no doubt about it. Oh, yeah. We definitely getting some trouble with this, bro. Ooh, this is already in 104 gear. I think I already did the gear ratios for this. So I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Oh, yeah. We definitely... We probably just going to have to add one of these to the... Uh, to the collection, we probably just gonna have to borrow this uh, when it gets registered, and then tell Simeon we'll pay, we'll drop the cash deposit for it, pay it off in cash, mail my pink slip. Thankfully, there's no cops on patrol. That's the one thing I kind of hated that I didn't get for this episode. Man. I just wanted to get this episode recorded and whatnot, uh, just to have it recorded and see like what we can do uh, for Franklin's first return back to the series. But so far, it's going pretty good. I want to try to get Cop and Patrol in here so we can get some more trouble and shenanigans in. All right, y'all gonna open the gate? Thank you. We got the working dials in it. We got the animated redlining and everything. All right. So, matter of fact. This is the last car. Matter of fact, we got the last uh, Nissan Z um, here uh, at the dock. So, matter of fact, we probably might just borrow this, put some miles on it, and then we're probably just going to have to buy buy the yellow one. 
Because all my cars, I just realized, all of Franklin's cars, except for his Hellcat and his um, C8 Corvette, his Shrippy Red C8 Corvette, is all white or black. That's the one thing I noticed. Alright, I wouldn't mind having a yellow car to the lineup. You gotta switch it up. But I feel like when you at this level, you have to do like a paint match of all your cars. Pretty sure you have to, but now that all the cars are delivered, all the cars are delivered safe and sound, they can pretty much start putting that in down at the um in the garage, get the plates on there, do whatever they gotta do, get the emissions test, whatever the case may be. But we pretty much just gonna have to deliver this and then one, after this we gonna have to pull up on Z and see like if he got a new batch. That's the last thing we doing and then we can pretty much call the episode from there. And then the next episode, we can pretty much just claim our Z and then we can pretty much trap in it the whole episode. Let me know what y'all thinking about this episode so far, man. I love, I think the graphics is what I love the most about my return to this game. As y'all know, I've been on a boycott of Rockstar products for like the last year straight. So, but I feel like it's about that time. I figured since I already bought the damn game for eight bucks on um, TD keys, it's my game and I can do whatever I want with it. I would love to see Rockstar try to sue me uh, for some shit. Just because I'm modding it. But anyways, um, we have to just go make it back down to the dealership. Man, they changed up everything with this uh, city, man, with this mod. Ooh, hold on, bro. I caught it. I knew that these pedestrians are so predictable. I knew that he was going to swerve in front of me. Anyways, we got Randy's Donuts. We got Best Buy. We got Foot Locker that's literally right, right there. That I know, man. This I'm, I, I'm honestly, I won't lie. I miss this. As much as I hate GTA 5, how much they're milking it, uh, it's still a great game at its core. So we finally making it back to the dealership, safe and sound. No other mishaps or mistakes on the uh, delivery. So we're just gonna get all these put up for sale. Once they all get their plates put on and whatnot. We're actually just going to take these on uh, one of these home. It's most likely going to be that white one. Or it could be this yellow one. Who knows? Y'all vote down in the comments. Which Z should I take home? The black one, the yellow one, the white one, or the blue one? So far, signs is pointing to the, um, to the yellow or the white. But with that being said, we got all the Z's delivered. We're actually going to hop back into the Range Rover. We're actually going to do one last walkover of all these cars. This, this is such a high quality model, man. I'm pretty sure they ripped this from Forza. Because Forza is the only one that has this car at the moment. But anyways, we finally got that under control. We're going to have to ask Simeon about this Mustang right here. It seems like it's modified. I see the got the Forgiatos on it and everything. And the six-piston Brembos and everything. Anyways, now that we got that done, let me uh, quick save the game real quick. And then let's put in the call to Z. The one thing I need to do is get Franklin a new phone. Because he's had that same phone for like the past 10 years. Almost 10 years. Alright, so let's order some drugs. In fact, let's see what he got. Let's see what he got. Okay, so we do got some drugs. He got a lot of them. Okay, so matter of fact, we know people want the weed. I got a million on me. So matter of fact, this is what we're going to do. We're going to put in a... Uh, a order for like 500,000 like not 500,000 we're gonna do yeah 500,000 so we're actually gonna put in an order for $500,000 worth of weed we're gonna put in I would say maybe like 100 G's worth of crack and then we're gonna put in an order for uh, how much do I got I got a million, one, almost 1.1 million. Let's put an order for like 50 G's. Or, no, let's actually do 100 G's of coke. So, that's we got that. Our, our order is down to, okay. So yeah, we good to go. So, matter of fact, place the order. Let's have Z meet us over there. Put the grenade away before I blow up my car. I gotta uh, put in the insurance mod for this car, man. Or for my car. 
Because if I blow it up, man, we pretty much going to have to either rebuild it myself or we're just going to have to uh, buy it again. Which is nothing to me. We making some good money. And we making some legal money, too. As a matter of fact, let's make this a stash card because I remember um, with this amount of order, we got almost a million dollars worth of drugs that we ordered. So we're actually going to have to make a, get a stash card. I mean, we're going to have to buy one the next episode, and then we're just going to have to make that a stash card from here on in, because that's the one thing I forgot. And this Range Rover is getting up. Also, I'm just letting you guys know right now, I am planning on putting a body kit on the Range Rover SVR. Like, I've seen this one body kit. I'm not going to say which one it is, but it's already looking like it's the one, and I already know exactly what I want to do with the Range Rover. So, probably, we probably just going to have... Well, actually, matter of fact, we're going to see what Benny can do. Because now that Benny's in town and he opened up his shop, we're pretty much going to expand our garage to his. Since we pretty much right around the corner anyway. So mine is going to be like the repo lot and the rim shop and the paint shop. And then his is going to be like the advanced body kit shop, paint shop, everything. He's, his stuff is going to be like the advanced stuff. Mine's going to be like the novice level stuff. We're just going to have to put in orders and whatnot. For certain body kits, we're not going to be able to get certain ones, so we're just going to have Benny's do some of them. Yo, what's going on, bro? I already got the money. Alright, that's $700,000, almost $800,000 worth of drugs. So we down to 327 Gs. Um, also, speaking of which, he has like, why we shouldn't Franklin have a lot more than that? So, that's also another thing I forgot to mention. So, if I pull up the bank account I did this on a live stream we pretty much deposited all of Franklin's money so his money matter of fact we pro should probably pull out some of this money and put it in like several other accounts and probably stash it off at some of our houses but we got 53 million dollars in the account in his main account and that's not even including um his stash money that's over at the um the uh the car wash at the garage that's over there at the car wash so we're actually just going to take this uh, over there matter of fact we actually need to put in some more stash houses i'm thinking about putting in some more buying some more property and then just converting them into stash houses because some, there's some property that's growing in near a park there's some growing in by the beach and there's some growing in downtown so we definitely gonna have to make like an hq or whatnot or we can just purchase some properties and have our dealers stay at the properties and then they can trap out of that. All right, so which way is the car wash again? I keep forgetting. I, it's been a while since I, I, met, I know this map like the back of my hand. I just get discombobulated sometimes. I am enjoying this 50 FPS, 60 FPS gameplay. Of course, it's going to dip when I get to what you call when I get to downtown, but that's expected because downtown is the most intensive part of the game. But anyways, here we are back at the stash place. We're gonna park it right here. Shut the engine off. And we're gonna pop the trunk. I keep forgetting, our dealer is right over there. Y'all see the purple dot on the minimap? That's our dealer. Okay. So, uh, let's take Let's take all this stuff. Alright. And then we're pretty much going to keep that right there. We're going to not make that our... We're not going to make that our stash car permanently. It's just temporarily. And then we're just going to enter the stash house right here. Still working. It's just exactly how I left it. Also, if you guys are wondering where I got this, I'm pretty sure this is leaked on like launcher leaks or there's actually a free version on five mods. So I'm pretty sure you can get this in your game. Now, in terms of like getting the coordinates right for LS life and everything, you're pretty much gonna have to do that yourself. Keep on going, dog. You hear me? Yo. Hey, what's up with you? All right, uh, I keep forgetting. So it's kind of glitchy hey, right see, here. Bro, what is Franklin talking about, bro? He's over here tripping at the people, bro. Anyways, it's gonna give me a give me a minute while I get this situated, man. Hey, what's up, homie? Alright, finally I got it uh situated. So we're actually gonna stash all of this. 
All right, so we're gonna stash all this weed, stash all the crack, and we still we gonna keep like a couple hundred thousand dollars on us. That's one thing about me. I'm gonna keep a hundred thousand on me just in case whenever Z re up. But other than that, we pretty much good to go. So this was a pretty much a successful episode, at least from what I'm concerned. And it works just as fine. So matter of fact, we're gonna take the Range Rover. And with that being said, we're gonna make this not a stash vehicle anymore because we don't need to. We're gonna pop a quick save right here. And then we pretty much gonna end off this episode of Franklin's Millionaire Empire. And let me know down in the comments, how are y'all feeling about this series coming back, man? I know it's been a while. Y'all told me in a poll that like, I'm thinking about uh, canceling the series because I'm boycotting Rockstar. I was feeling some type of way about Rockstar. But it's like, I just need to suck it up. And people said that like, just come back when you're ready. And I feel like I'm ready now. So yeah, I'm bringing the series back. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this series, man. Next time you guys see Los Santos, it's gonna be even more in depth than what it is right now. We haven't fully explored this. We still got a lot to go. So, but with that being said, we're actually just gonna hang out a little bit, um, back at Foot Locker a little bit, see what business is popping like. And with that being said, man, this your boy Guap. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you're new. I'm in the Range Rover SV, pulling up to, pulling up the Foot Locker in the hood, and I'm out, bro. Make sure you guys also share and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and everywhere else if you feel like it, if you care. Anyways, I'm out, bro. Deuces.